Welcome back and thank you very much. The Ghanaian Times says, uh, plot to destabilize country, nine charged with treason felony. Are two Asians, three others charged over capital bank collapse. Ghana Post set to grow market share. And Communications Ministry launches Miss Jeek Ghana competition for girls. The finder, the daily, the daily guide, I beg your pardon, or being for freed, a 2 ACN charged, coup plotters charged with treason, I'll fix Kumasi Roads, Nana Kufuado. Business finder, collapse of Capital Bank, a 2 ACN, three others charged, accused of stealing, abetment, and money laundering. Ghana rated seventh wealthiest country in Africa, and 1.4 million beneficiaries receive 80 million Ghana cities leap cash. Daily graphic, work on stalled roads will resume soon. President assured Ashanti uh, region. Atuesi and three others on trial for capital bank collapse. Uh, communications ministry launches ICT program for girls and nine charged with treason. Um, well, finally, the daily statement. Mesty to partner Presby Chair to produce cotton bags. Uh, stay focused. Santini encourages the president. And at last, the bankers will account. ACN, three others charged as prosecutions of failed bank owners begin. My guest this morning, Nana Damwa, he speaks for the NPP. And the Honorable Adam Mutawakilo is a member of parliament for the Damongo constituency. He is running for a second time. Gentlemen, good, good morning. Welcome. A third time, I beg your pardon. Gentlemen, welcome. Nana, how are you today? By the grace of God, we're doing well. We are coping. Um, we're learning lessons. We are hoping that everybody else too would learn the necessary <laughs> lessons that we have. <laughs> we no, need to learn no. from from the from, language is coded. From, wow. from, from the instance, you know, um, I, I mean, of, <coughs> of 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 the said, we've had just a little bit of a discussion on 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 sexual harassment among others, and I think that is very critical because um, I don't think I, I as a result of what is happening, I decided to take a a deeper look into what constitutes sexual harassment mm. and what doesn't. And I realized that really, um, a lot of us are ignorant. Myself, I was even ignorant of quite a couple of the things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at what point does it move from attempting to make a proposal mm -hmm. to its becoming sexual harassment, right. among others? Mm -hmm. So I think that you, our friends in the media, also need to help um, everybody so that we, we attain out. those things. I'm a leader of a team. I mean, I'm a head of a unit. And I, yesterday, I took it upon myself to educate everybody. Because, I mean, I know they're a team. They joke. They laugh. And sometimes I hear some comments that are passed between each other. Mm -hmm. And I've just come to realize that it constitutes sexual harassment. Because okay. I've made everybody sign a document mm -hmm. that says that they will not <laughs> engage in any conduct. That Charlie, some of the hugs some people take is, yeah, yeah it's sexual harassment. I don't yeah. know how are you doing. Yeah, I'm doing good. You're yeah. fine. I'm doing fine. You're fine. Yes, sir. Uh, May you never want to be say found in the good cold. morning to, <laughs> to my, the people of the Mongol constituency, yeah. to our cherished viewers. Uh, yeah. Me, I followed up issues of this in the US. They have this Me, me Too movement. Okay, yes, yeah, movement. Me too. And it's good to monitor it, it guides, it gives us direction as men what to do and what not to do. Because some of the things that comes up there mm -hmm. give us great lessons. So. Yeah, we are still not so developed, so there are a lot of things that are so hidden in the, under the carpet. And we pray that with time, a lot more will come out. Are the people mm -hmm. ready to speak? That's the thing. It's, it's a matter of time. So mm -hmm. if you relate to the Me Too, some of them, the 1960s, mm -hmm. 1970s yes. issues coming up. Uh -huh. So technology and modernization, mm -hmm. And enlightenment okay. brings a lot of issues. Okay. Let's, let's make progress. The founder of the defunct capital bank, Mr. William Atuesian, and three other persons have been charged by the state with 26 offenses for allegedly uh, alleged roles leading to the collapse of the bank in 2007. The others are Reverend Fitzgerald Odomko, who uh, also was in the former chief executive officer uh, of the bank, Dr. Tete Nerti, uh, owner of the MC Management Services Limited, and Kate Korti Papafiu, Chief Executive Officer of the Reroy Cables Limited. The charges include conspiracy to steal, abetment of crime, and money laundry. These, these are the charges that we brought against them. Now, now the, these names, uh, four of them, will 
be taken away from the 15 that were earlier sued by the receiver, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Is government reading a different script from what the receiver, you know, is reading? I don't know what you have, what you want to say about this. Okay, thank you very much. And um, good morning to you. Good morning to your listeners as well. We first of all need to understand that I think what the receiver did was a civil case trying to <clears throat> retrieve some amounts that were owed among others. These are criminal charges. Now, what we have is, yes, they ran a bank. They conducted themselves in one way or the other, which has led to a failure. And government has acted to protect the deposit of the ordinary Ghanaian because it was regulated by the Bank of Ghana. And somebody should have seen it coming. And once that, that, didn't, that didn't happen, the guarantees in the banking system, you know, mandates government to step in. However, um, per the charges that we have seen, mm. it it seems as though, and I'm using the word seems as though because I do not want to go ahead to make categorical statements when they have not been produced, uh, pronounced guilty by any court. But per government believes that they acted in a manner that is criminal mm -hmm. and government wants them to answer for these criminal charges. Um, I'm minded by the fact that this matter is before the court of law. But what I'll say is that government made several promises that we are going the, the to ensure. The case has not begun yet. So. I agree with you, but there are charges before a court. Mm -hmm. And once they're, they've been charged and put before a court, that's the beginning of the process. Of course, you would expect that in a democratic environment like ours, they would also be given the chance to defend themselves mm -hmm. and defend themselves mm -hmm. adequately before the judges are able to pronounce on this matter for us to see some finality. Critically, mm -hmm. what it is is that some individuals have been put before these courts mm. seeking to punish them for their conduct that may have led mm. to all of this situation that we find ourselves and in. And I'm asking a question that, well, whether it's a civil case or a criminal case, the receiver who did the inside work to find out who did what, when and how, took 15 people to court, 13 Dr. Mesa Altabel and the ICGC church. Now, the state, who appointed the receiver is taking people to court in the matter revolving the same bank and decides to take just four people to court. And I'm asking, is government reading a different script? No, I'm what? saying that there are two. And you need to understand that the burden of proof in these two are different. Mm. For example... Um, on the it, scale of probability... On the scale of probability and then the unreasonable doubt. doubt. So, I understand the principle. I'm saying that if, if the... So, for example, what informed government's choice to take four people to court out of the 15 that were previously uh, put before court by the receiver. The circumstances. Mm. Not all conduct that is negligence may be criminal, for example. Mm. And I'm just using one, exa one, one thing because I don't know all the details. Right. But it is possible that they may have misconducted themselves, which has led to certain losses. But mm. that may not form the basis of a criminal charge. Okay. So what I believe has been done by the state is that they've looked at it. Yes, on these actions, we can take criminal um, criminal uh, procedure yes. against them. Okay. But on these other actions, let us employ civil method methods mm. to, to, to put them before the courts of this country. And that is what has been done. Mm. In the end, remember, it is not necessarily the putting of the individuals before the court that is important. It is being able to substantiate your case mm. beyond reasonable doubt, mm. such that you will achieve convictions. If not, you carry a mass wholesale of individuals to the courts mm -hmm. and then you keep getting your cases thrown out. You waste everybody's time. And remember as well that as you are proceeding to these courts, mm -hmm. all the defense attorneys have to do is show that it is not beyond reasonable doubt that indeed these individuals conducted themselves criminally. Mm -hmm. That's all they have to do. Wait, sit back, and punch holes into the arguments that you're seeking to make. Okay. So it's taken a while. We said that it was going to come, but we are here. And finally, we are seeing that progress. For me, the takeaway from this is that you cannot do or conduct yourself in a certain way and get away with it. The state will take its time. It may be slow, but we'll get there. It's also heartwarming to know that finally we've gone around and mm -hmm. come back to even this issue of the coup plotters, which I believe... Um, we'll, we'll discuss in quote, And let me, use, let me clarify it. In, in quote. quote. Coup plot but now they've been charged. Now they've been charged with treason, <laughs> so it's, it's obvious. But 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 Nana, 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 there there were seven banks that collapsed. Um, Atuisian's bank, the capital bank, is only one of them, and we have not seen the others come up. Somebody says it is because the man spoke up, and and fingered the finance minister, and another for wanting to own his bank, and he flatly refused which is why his has come out quickly. Is there any truth to that? 
I am even surprised that these, these speculations are coming up. But listen, he, he's not the only one to have spoken up. That's the first thing. He's not the only I mean, before him, others have come. Mm -hmm. I've heard the owner of Beige Bank. I've heard other, other individuals. Oh, mm -hmm. I've heard Mr. Kofi Amwa Kofi being, Kofi. I've heard others speak up. Mm -hmm. And it's a process. And that's what we need to understand in this country. That it's a, I cannot just get up and say, because I don't like you, I'm going to put you before a court with criminal charges. Because in a democracy, mm -hmm. I need to be able to substantiate that you deserve mm -hmm. to be taken away from all of humanity in Ghana and kept in a cell because you are a criminal. I cannot just get up and do those things. Mm -hmm. So whether he called out the finance minister or not is a moot case. At the end of the day, the conduct that he's being charged for, mm -hmm. did he undertake that conduct? Mm -hmm. Did he know what he was doing? Was it indeed a criminal issue? Mm -hmm. That's why it's before the court. And I do not okay. see anywhere on that charge sheet mm -hmm. that it is said that you um, defamed the finance minister. Mm -hmm. And so that is why you've been put before court. Criminal libel does not exist in this country. Okay, thank you. Uh, honorable. Take a bite on this matter. I'll, yeah. ask, I'll ask the same question I put to Nanai a while ago. Is government reading a different script from that of the receivers? Yeah, the thank you very it. much. Uh, it is very important mm -hmm. when government is dealing with issues, issues of transparency and biasness is made clear to the people. How do you mean? That is the only way you can get them along. How, how do you mean? Is government being I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm. First, the collapse of this bank and the method. Mm. We have issues with the method. But it's very important to investigate, mm. to get the culprits and do justice as is required. Mm. Now, investigations have been carried out. Mm -hmm. Fifteen people by the receiver are found to be culpable. Mm. It is very important that in dealing with them, the government is transparent. So not to let people feel that those that are loyal to the party and seem to be party members are left out. And those that are not seem to be party members are those that are being prosecuted. The public court goes a long way to help in whatever justice or criminal activities you are pursuing. Did, did the people commit the offense as party members? Please. No, I'm, I'm just curious I'm, I'm, uh, We are in this country okay. where a group of young men, Delta Force mm. or so, mm. went to the court and freed their co uh, colleague. It, took, it was taken to court at the end of the day, Nolly Prosecutor came. Mm. With videos out there for everybody to see what they have done. So it is the, the view mm -hmm. that I support you. My actions might not be political. Okay. But once I belong to your political party, mm -hmm. there's some, uh, favorite, uh, some actions that will go a long way to favor me. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm talking about. Okay. If 15 people have been presented, mm -hmm and you decided to take four, it is very important you let Ghanaians know what you are doing about the other uh, eight, 11 mm. people. Or 11, sorry about that. So because at the end of the day, we know big men, we know their uh, relationships. Mm. No, but you're a big man. No, I've not mentioned uh, any name. But you said we know their relationships. Okay in respect to political alliances. And those people are not part. People will begin to ask questions. Which, which big you give, are you talking you about? Give, you give justification mm. for others to come out and say, I'm being pursued because A mm. or B. However, if you had come out with explanations why the others mm. are not being arranged as at now, mm. it gives a plain field transparency mm. for us to debate it better. And as I indicated, thousands of people are home. Mm -hmm. And is that the best method? Is to close down the bank? I don't think so. It's gone. We don't think so. The method used by government to shut down the banks is the wrong method. Haven't we gone beyond that? No, but it's very important <laughs> to emphasize that even in the crisis, uh, financial crisis we have mm -hmm. in the U.S., mm -hmm. government did not shut down. 
what they did was that they took equity share mm -hmm. in the banks, in, in the organizations. Mm -hmm. Government have a stake. An individual can no more take a decision. Mm -hmm. Put in money, manage it, and make sure that you retain the people that have been employed there. Because it is better in Ghana case to have taken over, mm -hmm. take stake in it, invest money, because we needed a little over about two billion there to be able to invest in most of these banks to be able to retain it, to make sure that the necessary employment mm -hmm. that it has created is maintained. Mm -hmm. We closed down the banks and spent 20 billion Ghana cities. So it costs more. On what? On the liquidation. Of how many? At what levels? I'm coming. I'll allow him to make Look, his point. <laughs> there are facts. Oh. If you follow up what happened in Parliament, because documentations are brought. If it costs less to maintain the bank, invest as government, mm -hmm. have greater stake in it, than closing down and spending more and still creating a lot of unemployment. I think that that was a bad decision mm -hmm. that President Anna Okufuado and the finance minister has taken. Are you happy and that, didn't do are you happy that government is, is prosecuting these people who caused... It is very important that whoever caused it is prosecuted. And as I indicated, this could have happened even if government has taken stake to ensure that they do not collapse. But pick out the corporates mm. and let justice be done. Okay, thank you. Nana, you had you had an intervention to raise. First of all, the figure of twenty. You see, there's a bit of creative. Um, how do I call it? Creative accounting in court that okay. is being done here. By because who? May, this I, document. may I finish? <laughs> you see, the Honourable Mutawakilu says that it would have cost two two billion. Mm. Let's grant him that. I cannot verify that figure yet, but let's grant him that. It will cost two billion to be able to save the banks, mm. but it will, it cost uh, twenty, 20 billion, billion to shut them down. That's not true. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the 20 billion that he's talking about is not just limited to the banks. It's limited to the banks, the savings and loans, all of those in the financial so how much? Chain. How much did we I'm spend coming. for the banks? That is what he should have told us. No, you tell us. No, I'm coming. What I know, I'm coming. And again, I'm saying that he should tell us because it is his figures mm -hmm. that we are, for the purposes of this debate, employing. So he should have told us that. So tell Why us am the correct I, I'm ones. coming, I'm coming. Why am I raising this as an issue? Mm -hmm. Because you see, when you do that, you're seeking, you seeking to tip the scales in your favor. And actually, if you had enough, mm -hmm. if you felt that you had enough to make an argument, you wouldn't do that. You would not employ that kind of tactics. So, so share the to, right to, details to, with to, us. I'm coming. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. So you provide. So, so he mentioned two two billion. You are, pro, you are disputing. Uh, allow, allow me. Okay. You you provide two billion. That's what he said, and twenty billion. And so, no, no. What what are the actual figures? What I'm saying saying to you mm, I've is heard, that first I've of heard all, your argument. So I'm saying, so, do you have do you have do you have the figures? May I may I may I answer you? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm saying. Mm, that these are figures that Honorable Mutawakilu has put out there. And which you are and disputing. No, I'm saying that for the purposes of this debate, let's accept it. No. If this you are in government, you tell me. You, you are saying that the 20 billion was not for only the banks. Mm -hmm. It was that, for microfinance. Is he disputing that? No, but that's, that's... No, but Hughes, is he disputing that? Honorable. No. You are not disputing, I'm disputing it. it. You are disputing, disputing it. that 20 should, billion. I'm coming on. Oh, no, I'm also. coming. You see, you and I, we are Go friends. Ahead. I'm saying that. Are you yeah. saying that we are friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm coming. I'm, are you I'm saying that? Me. Are you saying that the 20 billion was spent on just the banks? The, yes. 20 billion was spent on just yes. the banks. Okay. But the, you, uh, the, the, in terms of the loans and services, just recently. Mm. That was but that. the 20 billion you're talking about, honorable. To parliament. The 20 billion was just the banks. Yes. Okay, you know what, Mark? Well, what, Hughes, what I would yeah. say to you, therefore, is that if that's. Mark the, is my late uncle, I beg Sorry. You. If that's the <laughs> challenge that he wants to do, mm -hmm. I'll leave that there. Mm? Okay. We'll get to it so, very shortly. No, but, but, but I, I want you to provide information if you have. Well, it. I'm telling you. So you are telling us that the 20 billion is for the banks, the savings, savings and loans. Loan. So far, all Everybody of it that else. has been done. Yes. Now, so I'm saying that. It's 20, even 21 billion. I'm saying and that. And then let's read that report. 20. No, I'm coming. And, and, I, and I'm saying Let that just... if there is a 20 billion, which is it, how much of the 20 was used to salvage the banks? You see, 
I'm coming. What I want us to do is to stick to Honorable Mutawakili's oh, faith. But if you have... I'm coming. I'm not, I, I do not want to do that for a reason. And let me tell you what the reason okay. is. I believe that Honorable Mutawakili will contradict himself. Okay. So, and so for, are, for the very reports, I'm so coming. are digging the pit for him to fall in. For the very report no. that he is saying... Uh, uh, just Google. I wa he's Google. So let him bring it out and let the contradiction be made apparent to okay. everybody. Okay. That's what I want us to do. Mm. But moving forward to even address this issue a bit further, but we'll come back to it. Mm. Moving further to even address this issue a bit further. Them. Let us keep in mind that the NDC government gave monies to these same banks. Mm. And at the end of the day, what those monies were supposed to be used for, were not used for. Right. They were, they, these monies were invested, some of them were given loans, some of them were given whatever, and at the end of the day, we still got to where we got to. Accountability is key. It is critical. This government has made a decision, and we follow through with it, to save the investment of depositors. We found ourselves at a place where we needed to make a decision to either protect the depositors and their funds mm. or to let these banks stand and one day still come back to the inevitable conclusion that we're going to come down to anyway. So, remember, so somebody's, remember. Asking, somebody's asking the question, if you look at our banking sector, predominantly foreign banks are here. The few who are indigenous banks owned by our people, employing our people, are the ones that are being shut down. I don't believe could that. We, could we have supported them to to do the right thing they were already they were they were already they had already received various forms of support let's be clear with that they had already received various forms of support secondly there were those who did not even still meet the threshold mm. but were still allowed to function until they meet the threshold because of their management practices they are mentioned prudential bank i'll mention the other banks that were also put under gut and i that were put under gut mm. and they have survived it has nothing to do with the fact that government was unwilling to support them. No. It is about sustainability. Listen, mm -hmm. if you run a business mm -hmm. as a private man and your business faces difficulties, mm -hmm. should government invest money into your business because your business is employing, assuming, 300 people and you are facing genuine difficulties, should government invest money into it? No. That's the argument that we need to come down to because, you see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, these banks were being were owned by individuals, yes. They had depositors' funds, yes. Mm. And they were being run. They had received support before and were still facing the challenges that we're facing. If government did not move in to protect the funds of depositors mm. and still kept on investing and they kept on doing what they were doing, we would have gotten to a point where the entire banking system in this country would have collapsed. So is the question of I can understand. My, I can understand. Of, is there a question of supervision? Hold on. Is, so is the question of supervision from the central bank and uh, not entirely the fault of these uh, collapsed banks, I don't correct? think so. Because if you supervise me and you giving me support to do A, B, C, and D, and I'm not doing it So anymore. clearly, So clearly, mm -hmm. what it establishes is that under a certain regime, there were issues. Clearly. Okay. But you remember, make it remember, regime remember, based. no, remember, <laughs> remember that we have also said that the supervisory or those in, at the Bank of Ghana mm. who did not perform their duties to standard okay. would also be taken on. Okay. When Thank we mention these issues, when we mention these issues, there were those that believed that we were not going to do anything, mm. nobody was going to face persecution for a while. People actually said that we are letting them go loose and all of that. But today, We've actually seen the beginning M of Mutawakilu that process. says be transparent. Let, 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 on the let issue of transparency. Yeah. On the issue of transparency. You will come in, Adam. Sorry. On the, on the, on the issue of transparency. Mm. I do not know what he means by uh, a lack of transparency because, you see, Honorable, this is not an issue of public discussion where I will come and sit here and say he's guilty and you say he's not guilty. And when we are That's done That's not what he's we'll asking. Not he says, I'm coming. He says the receiver took 15 people to the court. Uh, For government, what? Government is taking four. Okay, the receiver for took the, 15 for the people to for the, the for the collapse of the bank. Okay, and what was he seeking to do? Well, I mean, he was seeking to retrieve monies that were spent from Okay, me. now, now that, the, the state, argument I'm making the state, is that... The state is also uh, pulling them before court, the four before court, for just about the same things. But this time, it is adding a criminal twist to it. Let me use the Wyoming case mm. as an example. The Wyoming case, the name that came up included Madame Betty Mogidrisu and others. Mm. At the end of the day, the NDC government decided to present only Mr. Woyome 
for criminal mm. for criminal proceedings. Why? That is that is that is totally out. Why is it out? Okay. Let, but, let, Adam, that Adam, is totally Adam, out. Why is it? Adam, out? stepping well, for me. Well, one no. wasn't a bank. No, but Adam, I'm just saying that he's saying that, he's saying that in, in in trying to prosecute the person no, for criminal no. offences, you decided to single out Woyomi and you left the others. Look, Jida. No, okay, okay forget things. forget no, that. Let's that go to Jida. Isn't the case. I'm coming. Forget it. Let's go to Jida. Mm. Jida mentioned so the Jida report mentioned so many individuals, including private individuals. Mm. At the end of the day, it was uh, what is his name, Asbit, As As yeah. and then the former CEO. Mm. Just the two of them. Meanwhile, the report mentions several other individuals. What happened? And in no, this case, no. remember, remember, mm. it was a criminal investigation that was conducted and reports were made. All I'm seeking to say is that, listen, why are we seeking to say that because individuals have been put before court in a civil matter, all those individuals, mm. whether there is grounds for criminal prosecution or not, mm. all of those individuals should have been presented to court. I am surprised. You are? I am surprised. Uh, the, the, no. the, the, the former deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Mr. No, Sidhu no. Mate, says uh, nobody in there, whether board chair, whether uh, non-executive, whether uh, a board member, a shareholder, whatever it is, is exempt from any charge that, that must hit them. You can't say, because I was not part of the day-to-day -day running, I am exempt from it. You see, this is a former deputy governor. Of Bank that of is Ghana. a former deputy bank of Ghana saying what he has said. No problem, and that is why all the fifteen of them that were dragged in civil charges was anybody left out? The fifteen that was dragged before uh, civil procedure was anybody left out? Mm. Now let's remember again that the standard of proof is different. But if you have caused, My, if you have caused loss to the state, the state gives you money to sustain yourself. And you can't account for the money. The money is missing. It's found out that the money was given to family and, and friends. Based and based on investigation, I'm coming. And based, <laughs> and, on, and based on investigation, mm -hmm. the state has established that four people okay. has to be put, have to be put before okay. court. Thank at you. this you present see? moment. Thank you. Okay, you Adam, see, step in for me. The and foremost thing is that my brother... Adam, why are you... What my is your brother point admitted from the beginning that he, he, he's not much... He doesn't know much about the government decision why... Mm. Why would be you indicated it? That's what I'll, I'll as to why I the just four have been, have been prosecuted and the rest are not. Mm. You indicated no, it from no, your that's not what I said. Now, let me come. That's not what I said. You're, you're imputing you something come to Jida. But I just you want know, you to Jida clear, was, you clear the end. Jida was dealt with very, very clean. Hmm? There were two main companies that were in charge, they have sub companies, mm. so that were the two main companies. And they were, it was dealt with. How? In terms of uh, uh, Wyoming, when mm -hmm. you came to power, you were in power. You could have taken it. We well, couldn't. Double jeopardy. Why? No. Double no. jeopardy. If you realize that that wasn't the right thing done, mm -hmm. you had the opportunity to have those officers. That is double So you don't come and mm -hmm. Now my Please brother confused himself. Jeopardy. No, no, no. Without Hughes, some Hughes, liquidity. Hughes, please, Hughes, please. Hughes, when so I wanted just to hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Adam, my brother, if, Adam, if, if, if a man has been taken to court on the same set of on facts. the same set of things and he's been acquitted by the court, no. you cannot. No, what I'm saying you is cannot that come back to if you, no, no, no. If you if you indicated that there were other officials that should have been prosecuted, right? But they were not prosecuted, and you are in power. What prevents you from ensuring that they are come? Please don't. If you felt that mm. these people should have been prosecuted, and you are in power, mm. and you criticize it when you are in opposition, you will come to power. You haven't taken any action. Then the you turn around and off. you want to blame. Mm. The main you man see? was let off. Now two. Okay. My brother confused between liquidity support and having a stake mm. in a company. If you're running your company mm. or a bank and you have challenges. The law requires that you request for liquidity support. Mm. But if I see you are not functioning, I can now take a stake in your in company, company where I acquire shares and therefore be part of the management of that company. What happened in the case of Capital Bank? Close down. Government did not take shares in the management of that company. Just an the, NIB, he mentioned. NIB, NIB went for liquidity support. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to my point. ADB as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, ADB as well. They mm -hmm. all went for liquidity bank. support. Mm -hmm. So it is normal that a company, uh, in a bank, when mm -hmm. you're facing challenges, 
you request for liquidity support. Definitely. It's not unlawful to give liquidity you, so support. So you think no, the state is unfair it, to capital banks? No. Where capital bank uh, liquidity support is given mm -hmm. and they have challenges, you take a stake where you become a partner in the management and then you pursue those who that, have Does it always happen like that? That is why I said that looking at the costs mm. that you incur in ensuring that you take a stake mm. and ensuring that uh, jobs are maintained, mm. are secured, mm. and the decision they took, that is far less than the decision they took to yeah, close down and spend about 20 billion. You're, you're going back to the figures. Yes, that, and there is that, 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 that bring a report. Can't no, it's not a report. He said it was a, a news report. item. Okay, you bring the news item. Are we going back no. to it? So, okay. because no. I'm very sure that... I saw true. that, no, Nana, it's, you, it's 21 billion. You are not billion. supplying yes, information. It, okay, let, let's it's just... It's 21. I'll Google that. No, no, you are not supplying you. No, I just want us to stay with him. I said 20 billion, but when I Google, I saw 21 billion. No problem, you just bring the 21 billion. No, you go ahead. Do you have contrary figures? I saw 21 billion. I said, let's rely on Google. No, 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 no. Cost to... You are the one that gave the figure. Cost to closing down banks. That's Google for it. Okay. Wait, let, let, let's it, let's make progress. It. I think we've stayed on this. <laughs> we've no, stayed on this topic for, for a while. When I Google, it was twenty-one. The, the front page yes. of the Daily Graphic has uh, the main story that says nine people, including five soldiers, have been charged with treason on allegations of plotting to destabilize the country and possibly take point. over the That's government. Right. The soldiers are Colonel Samuel Kojo Gameli, Warrant Officer Class Two. Uh, Esther San, uh, Dikuyeni, Corporal Seidu Abubakar, Lance Corporal Ali Solomon, and uh, Lance Corporal Sylvester uh, Akan Pewan. The other accused persons are Dr. Frederick Yaumak Palm, Medical Practitioner Donyo Kafui, uh, Azo, and, and all of others, a weapon, a mechanic uh, person. Well, so now, now, let me start, let me start this conversation with you uh, this way. Have you seen it? I, I, I am not saying <laughs> it. No. Okay, no, no. I beg you, please. It's here. We, 21 billion. We started. Oh, you it. found it. Let him read the story. No, you go ahead. You found it. That's no. what I said you should read. No, no. 21 billion. No, no, let me start. Let me start this one with you. Um, I, I am not a soldier, but you have been a uniformed person before. Yes. We are holding seven military officers, including a colonel. That's a very high rank equal to an ACP in the police in in public in a public court. What happened to court martial in the military? Okay, so <clears throat> I think that this issue would best be addressed by the lawyers because you know law 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 sometimes has its own intricacies in there. But for me what is essential is that um, when this matter came up we urged caution and we told the people of Ghana that indeed there is evidence to suggest that they were engaging in some conduct that was not um, in line with mm -hmm. the laws that we have as a state. Mm -hmm. A lot of people sought to say that this was much ado about nothing, there was nothing there and mm -hmm. that. I remember some people even took kitchen knives and said that the government is saying that people are using kitchen knives to do a coup among mm -hmm. others. And then came that issue of the first set of charges that were laid against them, which was the illegal manufacturing of arms. Mm -hmm. And we g again came out to say, listen, it's a process and we are going through the process, we'll get there. Finally, what I think um, mm -hmm. has been done is that the charges that everybody was looking for, which is treason, okay. has been laid. And remember, this is not the end of the matter. Mm -hmm. The state assured everybody that it does have evidence mm -hmm. to be able to you know, show that indeed this conduct of these persons was leading to a particular end. Mm -hmm. There are those who, who have doubted us. There are those who have said that it is a gimmick. There are those who have said that it is a joke. But gradually, we are getting to that point. And the credibility of this government will be shown. I do not think that this government has anything to gain by suggesting, even in the slightest of, of ways, that um, some individuals are seeking to destabilize the country. There were those who said that because there's too much hate in the country, government is seeking to engage in gimmicks, quote and unquote. Is there, I is remember there hate in the country? That's a, that's a, that's that's respectfully. May, may I is tell there you? heat in the country? Respectfully, oh, no, no, Jack, respectfully. No, no, stop. Yeah, yeah, answer yeah, my question. What, what you're trying to is do? There heat what you're trying to do is lead me no, no, in a I'm certain I'm direction. You, you are saying <laughs> I'm that. not going to. You are saying that. I'm not, people have suggested I'm not, that. I'm not going to. You won't answer my question. What I mean by heat? So, so, let me clarify. Yes. What I mean by heat is people felt that there was a lot of political heat in the country, as in the opposition was was um, making quite a lot of 
noise in this country. Noise in court. And again, with all due respect to my good friend here, um, by noise... What Is there I, economic heat in this country? Comparatively, it's better than what it used to be. But is there heat? Comparatively, it's better than what it used but to be. But is there heat? Comparatively, it's better than what it used to be. So, so it's better now. Comparatively, but it remains heat. Comparatively, it's better, than what, it okay. it's better than what it used to okay. be. Okay, make, make progress and, for me. And, and finally, we've gotten to this point. I believe that moving forward, we should all follow it mm. as a country. I remember, was it Mr. Adam Bonner? Yeah. Or who came out to make yeah. some very scandalous statements? Not just him. Again, I can, can offer to Sabwaji as well. And I remember that the, the minister, the minister of information at the point said that listen, um, it was unfair that Kennel, uh, boy, I think Festus, Festus was Abbas, a, yeah. was asked to comment on the matter because he had not been given the benefit of the evidence that the state had in its possession, and he mm -hmm. believes that if the, if that evidence was made available to them, they will reconsider this position. Mm -hmm. And I still support that position a hundred percent. That indeed sometimes. Um, we tend to play people against each other for, for the news headlines and all of that. Critically, we are at this point. Let us allow the process to continue. Is it, is it so easy to destabilize the government? These are nine, ten people. Is by this, easy, is so the easy? question is, by easy, what does it mean? Well, I'm saying that they're, they're saying it was a target uh, at the presidency. Kokubaku says it they, was kidnapping. they have the plan to, to kidnap. kidnap the president <laughs> and the vice president. And I'm asking, is it so easy to have access to them to I may have, think of wanting to kidnap I them? I understand. I may have an ambition to kidnap TV3 workers. You can't. But you see, the fact that I can't doesn't mean I will not take steps mm. to achieve my ambition. And the fact that I'm taking steps to achieve my ambition is a criminal. I don't know if you get the point mm. I'm trying to make. I may have that ambition. I may actually take steps to actualize that ambition. Mm -hmm. Really, maybe I may not be able to, because maybe it's just me and four other individuals mm -hmm. who are looking to capture the entirety of TV3 and its staff in, 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 in hopes of a ransom payment mm -hmm. sometime in the future. But the fact that I may not have that capacity to do so presently, mm -hmm. does that mean that my conduct is not criminal? Are we therefore saying mm -hmm. that maybe to our, in our estimation, because they may not be able to achieve that end, mm. their conduct, therefore, does not, you know, uh, okay. amount to criminality. Great. Thank if you. that's the sort of argument that we want Thank to you. make, then let's go there. Thank you. Adam. Yeah, this is a government. The, uh, the, the, the treason charge that you said, your side said they hadn't seen, is now here. They've been charged no, with I'm treason. Coming, I'm coming to all that. The Minister of Information said they have monitored these people over a year. 15 months. Yeah over a year, about 50 months. Then they take these people, arrest these people to court, charge them, now drop those charges. Does it support monitoring them for 15 months? They have a right to amend their charges. No, I'm just they? saying, if, if I'm making an emphatic statement, I've monitored you, have your video recordings and mm -hmm. all that for 15 months. 15 months. Then I pursue you to court. Then the second phase, oh, I dropped those charges mm. the first time I dropped, the first one I, I brought, and then I'm bringing out with new charges. Mm. And now the word treason is there. It's not about the word treason. Mm. It, it's about evidence to support it. So nobody from government should go out there and just say, now we've charged them with treason, and that is justification. Are, are, we, are we also considering no. the jurisdictional authority of the court that they were earlier put before and this present court. And the legal please, vacation. Please, please. I'm saying that this was what this indicated. Now, the second one is, it's not just saying, oh, now we have done, we sent them to court and treason, and therefore we are justified. Mm -hmm. It's about evidence. And for me, mm -hmm. I still doubt the evidence that this government is talking about. Have you seen it? For me, Per Have the you posture. seen it? Because, let me tell you. Where? No, I'm just asking if you've seen it. Because if you have you doubt They're saying they, are, they have evidence. Have you mm. seen that it? Is, that is, no. You haven't seen it? That is what I have. I have. That is for me. Mm. Yeah, I'm not saying for you. It. One, every serious mm. uh, group that wants to pursue in respect to treason mm. will not use a WhatsApp group. How did you know that? 
because it can easily be hacked. But that's a serious statement and to use, make. No, and use it for over mm -hmm. one fifty months, chatting, but planning on WhatsApp. But, but, but that's a very serious statement no, you're no, making. I'm just indicating. Okay. I said any serious group mm -hmm. that wants to take over a government will not just form an ordinary WhatsApp group and use it for over 15 months mm. to plan. What, what would they be using? This is a platform that can easily be hacked. But what would they be using if WhatsApp is not the best? There are many other ways of doing it. Many ways of killing a I'm cat. okay. There are many other ways to kill a Somebody cat. feels mm. that they have one-on-one -on -one okay. better than using a platform Using a platform, WhatsApp, ordinary WhatsApp platform, to do those things. So there are a lot in the coming days mm. that will mm. come to to light. Mm. But you will see this case case fizzle out in the coming okay. Weeks so and so the the counsel for the accused persons, uh, Victor Kojuga Daudu. Is described the case as a setup and argued that the prosecution's facts were full of factual inaccuracies. And he says there's a setup, and the architect of the setup is called Sule, whom we have been told is at large. He submitted, and he urged the court to discharge uh, his clients on the basis that the district court had no jurisdiction to hear the case. So, this Sule guy was the very first to be arrested. Uh, how come he is at large? Did he break jail? I'm curious to learn. Because he was the first to be picked up and he led the team to go and fish out Dr. McPalm, Mr. Ezor, and everybody else. And he is supposed to be a military person as well. Did he break jail? I don't know. I'm curious. Nana, do you know? I, 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 I don't have any facts that suggest yeah. that he broke okay. jail. No, I'm saying this. They are saying that he's That's, at large. Uh, first of all, what you need speak. to remember is that this is a narration according to the defense counsel. Mm. And I, he should have at least given us some more, a bit more. No, no. The, the, the fact that Sule was the first to be arrested, was, arrested. Was, say, was said by court. defense intelligence, the, the, the information minister. No who, problem. Yes. But he's saying that Sule is at large. Do we have anything that happened in the court that confirms that indeed Sule is at large? Well, but this is what this was said in court. They, but I'm saying the, that the state is, prosecutor did not deny it. No, this is a report that came from defense counsel, right. and he's saying it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other thing that confirms this? But I'm saying that the prosecution did not challenge well, it either. I'm saying yes. If but I the say fact you are, if you are say, if I say court. in your face you are a thief, or you are a womanizer, and you say nothing to challenge but it's it. Court. Listen, we take it like that. No, okay. it's court. It has to do with legal strategy. The fact that you said it and I've decided not to respond, perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm digging a grave for you and I want to use your own words to entrap you. So let's just be patient. What is critical so, so is that I'm, is coming, there. I'm coming. I'm not saying any such thing. What is important is that this is coming from defense counsel, whose okay. only objective mm. is to make sure that his clients are freed. Okay. Finished. Let's mm. take it within that context. Okay. I hear you. And uh, that is why it is important. Mm to clear the public mind. Okay. Because the, pub, uh, the court of public opinion is very critical. Mm -hmm. And as government, you are not only uh, doing your legal issues, but to ensure that the general public follows. If it is requested and the person is at large, we need to know. Okay. If he's in custody, we need to know. But per what the government is putting up, mm. I can foresee a long uh, battle, and at the end of the day, it will end us nowhere. I don't want uh, us to waste too much uh, time and effort mm. to be speculating than uh, instead of government giving us some enlightenment mm. as to how the, 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 the case is being run. Okay. The President of Kufuado, uh, we'll, we'll get to messages shortly, but uh, President Kufuado has assured the people of the Ashanti region that work on stalled road projects in the region will resume very soon. In August 2018, the President cut salt for the commencement of the Kumasi Roads facelift project, which included the asphaltic overlay of 135 kilometers of roads within the metropolis. However, for some time now, virtually all the road projects have been abandoned by the contractors, raising concern among 
uh, the people. Now, now Sino Hydro deal. I thought some of these rules were captured. Yes. Right. And, and exactly. that is why the president has gone back to give the assurances that um, these rules will be done. Um, is the money in the Sino Hydro? I do not know. Not okay. I do not know. I cannot speak okay. to that. But what I can tell you is that the president has gone back to give the assurances that these roads will be done. Keep in mind the fact that um, infrastructure, though it is not the only means of development, is a very critical part of development. And this government takes infrastructure very seriously. And that is why um, the Kumasi roads, for example, was started in August of 2018. Right. It appears that there have been some challenges that have led to some of the contractors mm. leaving their site. But the president has once again gone there. And looking okay. at the credibility of this president in terms of of the promises he made and how he's going about diligently delivering on these promises that he has made. You can take and you can be very sure that indeed he means it. Listen, let's begin to take off the boxes one by one. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that, you know, the president is called the clearing agent because actually he's clearing all the promises that he made to the people <laughs> of this country. One village, one dam. We are there. We've not done them across every single village in okay. the northern parts of Ghana, but we are going along and we are delivering them. One district, one factory. The factories are beginning to come on stream. Free SHS, it is coming on stream. We've seen it live. Are we going to see all the other roads in the other regions? Uh, the, the Volta people are asking for it. The, the people in the north are asking. Uh, they are saying the, the, what do you call it? The, the interchange in Tamale is stalled. They are asking for it. So now that the Sino Hydro money, uh, we don't know whether it's in or it's not. You cannot provide information. How do we make progress? Because you don't have money, you cut sword, and the work <laughs> is left. Who does that? Okay. Now, can I go back to what I was saying? Because it's very important. No, I don't want us to divert one district. I'm one not party. diverting. Oh. We're talking about, let's talk about rules. <laughs> and I'm saying that your this, government told us that so we are getting <laughs> Sino Hydro deal and you listed roads that will be constructed with those monies. And I'm saying that in Tamale, for example, the interchange was, uh, the sword was cut for the interchange. And the people are expecting it in many other places as well. Is the money here? You say you don't know. But the project will continue. That's what you're saying. Where yes. are we getting the money from? Okay. Now, like I was saying, this president, based on his <laughs> credibility, once he's going to give that assurances, hmm, we know very well that it will be delivered. And I'm banking on the credibility of the president. So it's, it's, it's essential that I'm allowed to prove why I'm okay. placing so much emphasis on the credibility of this president. Going into okay. the 2016 elections, it was very critical that he mentioned one district, one factory. Mm. Some of the factories are beginning to come on stream. In the first year, we're told that not one has been done, and he's not done anything and all of that. Now the factories are beginning to come on stream. I'm aware of a fertilizer plant, the largest in West Africa, that has been built among others. Right. One village, one dam as well. We have seen okay. them coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you. You don't want to me. respond thank to you. my question. I'm thank responding. you. Thank thank you I'm responding. Hughes. This is it. I'm, I brought I'm, in the credibility I'm, oh, of the I'm, I'm saying who cuts sword for I a brought in the credibility. And does he have money? Who, who no, does that? No, I'm saying that I brought in the credibility of the president. So it's essential that you enable me to establish that credibility, Can, the basis that, of but that credibility. Cre credibility in this instance will depend on the funds available to complete the project. Ah, but right? you see, when we said we we're going to do free SHS, some persons came out and said the funds are not available. We cannot do it. We cannot achieve it. You so, remember so that the money is there I'm for coming, the roads. I'm coming. You remember that debate? Mm. You remember? Mm. The man <laughs> stood by it and said, we will do it. And today, it it's free as it is. Oh. Okay, thank you. Let, let me Adam, come. Let me Adam, come. Adam, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, this, Crystal is here. Yeah, we this, can't keep her waiting. Yeah, this, let, let, let this let's, let's make Crystal read uh -huh. a few messages yeah. and then you will take on. Uh, okay. Crystal, welcome. So, yes, messages on WhatsApp this morning. Um, good morning, TV3 New Day. I wish you consistently remind Ghana's government that their reason for collapsing most of the defunct banks and loan companies in the country is to protect the investment of customers. Till now, they've made very little effort to pay the monies back. Samson, a colleague teacher, invested 50,000 Ghana CDs in Capital Bank and only 5,000 was paid by government till now. They only kept giving them faithless hopes mm -hmm. on white paper every time they demand for their money. I think the politicians are up to something very funny in this country. I like this short say saying, position is not possession. This is from official Bado Jolo. Mr. Host, why do you always want to start with the MPP panelists? The NDC said the government cannot put, prosecute anyone. Now people are being taken to court and you are crying foul from Gasty Man in Brickum. TV3, I salute especially Johnny and his panelists and greetings to Adam Muta Wakil, my mentor. What a country under Nana Ado. Seriously, we are in crisis. Hmm. Long live Ghana. Long live NDC. Ayuba, yeah, Yasir in Tamale. 
There's an adage which says that the age of Methuselah has nothing to do with the wisdom of Solomon, Asanko in Santa Maria, simply put. Hmm? Hmm. It is very worrying and dangerous to have liars in any society because every liar is a potential criminal. This is also from Asanko in Santa Maria. Uh, Jagos from Insawam says, I just hope our law will deal with these alleged people who try to overthrow the government. Now that they have been charged with treason, they will know their fate uh, soon. F 15 criminals were identified in the Capital Bank case, but only four of them have been uh, arraigned before court. Isn't this selective justice? Don't tell me nothing was found against them. It's purely a case of uh, familiarization at play. Big boy from Accra. Hopefully get more information soon. From Yamoha in Wa, it's obvious that Mr. Atu Asian will definitely be punished more. Immediately, he fingered the finance minister seeking to acquire his bank with documentary evidence. What a wicked government. Atu Asian, three Three others on trial for capital bank collapse. Why is Akufuado leaving the big fish? That's Rever Reverend, pardon me, Otabil, his friend, out while dealing with the small fishes. I miss JJ Rawlings. Like these people would be jailed and whipped for properly, whipped properly, and have his assets confiscated to the state. I hope more prosecutions will come soon to put some faith, faith or trust in our system. This is from Ablade Ifia uh, Kuma in Ifia Kuma Zongo Takradi. Charles Nyame Asamankese. Um, Charles Nyame in Asamankese says, so in this country called Ghana, under Akufuado's leadership, we can't tell the truth to government and question its actions. Is that the impression this NPP government wants to create? When did they realize this crime of Mr. Atu Isian for them to now uh, be wanting to deal with him? In fact, our hard-earned democracy is seriously under attack. Um, it is really refreshing to hear the news of Atu Asian and his cohorts being arraigned before court in the case of the collapse of their respective banks. The legal battle has started and it's incumbent on the accused persons to prove their case in court. We can't allow taxpayers' money to go down the drain whilst the per perpetrators of this financial uh, carnage go scot-free. Our laws must act swiftly, Kwesi Reynolds in Agona Odoben says. Professor Jampo has no choice but to accept the interdict. Pardon me. In fact, he should uh, have been dismissed immediately considering the overwhelming evidence. The girl in question does not have to be um, a student of UG. Let UG students know that BBC has exposed all the crocodiles and lizards who are always looking for opportunity to abuse them from Anefi in Tamale. Um, Chris in Achimota says, good morning, Johnny. Kindly ask the MPP man if he is aware that most of the depositors still do, have, uh, still do not have access to their funds after the government spends more than 20 million Ghana CDs of taxpayers' money on the closed banks. Um, good morning, Johnny. I always find it difficult to follow Nana Damwa on any public debate. Mm. The level is the last one for the morning from Alajo Bob, Alab, Alaj Bob uh, in Kumbungu says the level of mediocrity and incompetence ex exhibited by the government is seriously annoying. Ghanaians were promised a lot but are getting absolutely nothing from the clueless government. Very heated this morning. That ends uh, the comments. Okay, from, uh, let me do it back. Okay, yeah. uh, well, let me quickly read this from Kenneth Festus Abwaji. He doesn't want to be associated with any comments from uh, Adam Bona or anybody else who had made a statement on this. But he says that his, uh, my comments on the coup attempt sought to provide a historical perspective of coups in the country. In that context, among others, my main concern was the timing of the intervention that I said, if premature, would allow other potential members of the group to go underground. So that's clarity there from Ken. Ken, good morning to you. And so hope you're fine, sir. May I? You no, 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 no. You don't have the floor. I'm he has a, you know, no, you don't no. have the floor. He has the floor. I beg you. This is a president who had promised to execute projects. Mm. The projects are not being executed. He goes to promise again. King promise. Oh. You see, we must begin to be serious. And government must look at projects very carefully or when they are looking for a facility. This I know hydro deal. And I thank God, World Bank has, IMF has clarified that it's a butter system. Okay. So let me now deal with the butter system. We have bauxites. Based on the bauxite deposit, mm -hmm. you said you needed a loan of two billion, but to be released in trenches. The Chinese told you that they don't need the bauxite raw. Mm. They need it to be processed to another stage called alumina. Mm. So you need to set up a refinery. Okay. That refinery will convert the bauxite 
to alumina. Mm -hmm. We have a smelter here. The left one, we can send it to the smelter, mm -hmm. that's Valco, and convert it to aluminum. Okay. But the, the, the country that is giving us mm -hmm. the low fa uh, facility will take the alumina, go and process to pay back. Okay. Now, this government decided that, oh, we'll take 600, a little over 600 million. Mm. But we are not putting up the refinery. Oh. Mm. We want to use it to do roads. Now, this country, know, uh, China knows that you have not set up a refinery to, re to be able to process the bauxite. Do you think I will release any money to you? So the money is not coming. There is no guarantee that there is a refinery in the next year or two mm. to be able to process the bauxite to alumina to pay back. That should have been the priority of this government if they actually were serious mm. in ensuring that the value chain of the bauxite is achieved. So you don't see if any, they were any, serious any real in setting up the refinery to process the bauxite to alumina. Mm. The one providing the facility knows that, okay, once the refinery is set, I know I'll get my end product. But that factory even hasn't started. The refinery hasn't started. And you captured it in your 2019 budget. Mm -hmm. Another budget is coming. Are you repeating the same project every year? And at the end of your four years, you tell us that you have done. I thought that okay. we should be having new projects okay. coming November. Because this November, we are coming out with another budget. Okay. And you are promising this one. So most of this project, they promise. Mm. And ranted uh, Sino Hydro, Sino Hydro. Mm. Almost one year today, nothing has happened. Okay. Only cutting off. Thank song. you. Thank you very much indeed. Well, Nana says the president is credible. And, and, and your I don't get one that. My I don't get no, no, the dance for that. Oh, I don't get that. None of them exist as we speak today. Your one day you want that. Go to Kuno. It has been washed away. Nana Damwa is a member of the office. Go to Murgu. Adam oh. Utawakilo oh. is uh, the member of oh. parliament for Damongo constituency. He speaks oh. for the NDC. Nana, you have had your bite already before yes. we read the message. A small okay. one. It's okay. A small